Hey, what's up guys? Mashin here. Come back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we've got five absolutely loaded trade-ups for you. We're starting it off and ending it off with a bang. First up here, 133% profitability. We're heading on over to two different collections. First is the Spectrum 1. The second one is going to be the Prisma 1. Now for this one, buy orders for the Spectrum are going to be 29 cents, 0.035 on the float. For the Prisma, we're looking at 34 cents and 0.105 or less on the float there. Now coming down to our outcomes, it's quite obvious what we want to hit. We're really looking to hit that off Aetheris because that's going to be a massive about $14 profit, which is very nice. But we also have one good outcome now because of the latest update, and that's the Desert Eagle Light Rail coming in at almost $7 profit. It's a very increased skin in price, so it's something we're looking to hit. Otherwise, we're going to be ending up with a pretty massive loss, relatively speaking. We're going to be losing a decent amount of our money considering we put $3 into this trade up, and we're going to be losing the majority of that if we hit a Prisma outcome coming in at around a $2 loss or probably around a dollar loss if we hit anything other than the UMP45 scaffold from the Spectrum 1 collection. But let's hop on into it. All right, here we are hopping on into this trade up right here. Now, a lot of these prices have gone up because of Counter Strike 2, so this is a great time to hop on into trade ups if you have not already. But we're really looking to hit something, especially from the Prisma collection, but hopefully that Op Aetheris, let's see it. Ooh, that's not a great start. Now, before we hop on into this second trade up, I want to give a huge thank you to our sponsor for today, Market CSGO. The sponsor for today's video is MarketCSGO.com. They're a peer to peer CSGO marketplace. They've currently got over 100,000 daily trades, and they've got a brand new slick design to help you find those skins. They've got a couple very useful features, and it's super easy to list your skins. All you have to do is go ahead, get their market app client, which is going to prevent you from getting scammed and then you can go ahead and list your skins very easily. And if you're looking to buy skins on the site, they've got tons of different deposit options. And if you want to take out that money you just got by selling your skins, they've also got a ton of different withdrawal options you can use. And running right now on the website, they've got an exclusive 30 knife giveaway. All you have to do to join is click that top link in the description and get started today. And now heading on into our second trade up. This one is going to be the least profitable of the video, but for this one, it's a little bit on the cheaper end as well. We're going to be heading on over to the Riptide case and the Spectrum 1 collection once again. For the Riptide, we're looking for five field-tested skins, 0.2 or below on the float, and we're going to be looking at a 22 cent buy order currently. Now for the other five skins, which we're looking from the Spectrum collection once again, we're looking for factory new once again, and we're going to be doing that same buy order price of 29 cents. Once again, not terribly hard to get, but when we come down to our outcomes, we're really trying to avoid that Spectrum collection once again. In fact, if we hit anything, once again, it's a loss. It's a little bit different here and the UMP45 scaffold is actually going to be the biggest loss because of the float differences in this trade up. Otherwise, the factory new outcomes from the Spectrum case are not a terribly large loss like we saw in the past trade up. But for this one, we're really trying to hit that Riptide collection. And that's because there's two major profitable outcomes. First one's going to be that MP9 Mount Fuji. This is the best outcome here coming in at $4 and about 50 cents profit, which is very nice considering this trade up only costs $2.55 to do. Otherwise, we're going to be hitting that M4A4 Spider Lily, which is still over a $2 profit. If we can't hit either of those, we're really just hoping to not hit that Mag 7, because even though it is a decent amount of profit, I think it's really ugly. Basically, anything from the Riptide is okay in this scenario. All right, and here we are for this one. Now, I want to know your thoughts on that Mag 7. I just think it's really ugly, even though the price has gone up a little bit because of Counter-Strike 2. I just, I just can't get behind it personally, but let's see it. Once again, same exact skin as you can see, but the thing is, it's not as big of a loss in this one, but it still is a loss, which is disappointing to see. Third trade-up, however, is where we start to get quite profitable. We're going to be heading on over to the Wildfire collection here and looking at a couple different things. First one is going to be stat track. That's very important you get the stat track down, but the second thing is going to be a 0.1 float for those Wildfire collection skins. Those are going to be five of them. 70 cent buy order is feasible at the current time. You can definitely go up in price 
price if you need to because we have a lot of room to work with on this trade up. Otherwise, the five skins that are going to fill the rest of the trade up are coming from the Chroma 3 collection, factory new, 77 cents, 0.04 on the floats for this one. Once again, if you need a little wiggle room with this one, we definitely got it. On an average of $2.26 profit for this trade up, there's a lot of room to work with. And a most of that is coming from the fact that that Glock 18 Royal Legion is a $19 profit. Huge profit if we can hit the Glock, otherwise the FAMAS Valence is going to be about an $8 profit. And if we're looking for the Chroma 3 outcomes, we're looking to hit that Ghost Crusader once again. A bit of profit here coming in at around $5, otherwise it's going to be a rough time as the remaining four outcomes are all going to be a loss, three of which are a pretty significant one. Alright, here we are for this one, hopping on into it. Hopefully we can walk away with something decent because the first two we've hit are uh, obviously not profit. So let's see it. Okay, that is absolutely perfect. I love that $5 profit puts us back in profit for the video and is the first trade up I have hit in quite a while. All right, moving on into our fourth trade up. This one's going to be the Operation Broken Fang collection coming in at 0.1 on the float, 40 cent buy order, not terribly hard to achieve. And the other five outcomes are going to be from the glove case. First time we're hitting up the glove case this video, 0.04 on the float, 33 cent buy order. Once again, pretty achievable. Coming down to our outcomes, 126% profitability and it's a relatively cheap trade up. So there's gonna be one major outcome we're trying to hit and that's obviously the op exoskeleton. $10 profit. But the thing is, we'll take anything from the Broken Fang collection as most of these are going to be over a dollar in profit. The only one that's not, UMP45 is still 66 cents in profit. Otherwise, this one's a lot less risky than most of them because we're still going to be making profit on three out of the five glove case outcomes. All right, hopping on into this one here. You know, we've been on a good streak so far of <laughs> hitting the last one. So hopefully we can still do a little bit decent here, but let's see it. Okay, you know, I thought that was the Nova Gila for a second. It's not, it's still a little bit of profit, which we'll take. Finally, the big daddy of them all. We're heading back to that first trade up, doing it in stat track. Now this one is 144% profitability, and that's because we're looking at the same two collections just in stat track. This one, 67 cents for the buy order for the Spectrum Collection, 0.04 on the float. And when we're looking at the Prisma Collection, 74 cent buy order, 0.1 on the float here. Now coming down to the outcomes, we know we want to hit that op, but in this one, it's a $41 profit on a $7 trade up. We really want to hit it. Otherwise, we'll take the Desert Eagle Light Rail, which is $11 in profit, and we're going to be losing massively all across the board if we don't. Other than the UMP45 Scaffold, which is just a 25 cent loss on a trade up like this, let's hop on into it. At this point, I can personally tell you this one is not that easy to get the skins for. Obviously, it's a stat track and it's a very profitable one, so you're going to have to cycle a lot. So I'm very nervous going into this trade up, really hoping that we can hit that off and walk away with a massive profit. But if you haven't liked the video already, please do so and let's see it. Oh, okay. You know what? We'll take it. You know what? I was talking, you know decent about this and that's an absolutely okay finish it's not the greatest but it definitely could be a lot worse but i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day